Yeah, hi folks, Bobby here from Next Gen Hotspots. I'm going to show you something real quick. I fired up a hotspot here. I've got a rugged spot uh, sitting here on the bench. And once it's fired up, and you know it's fired up and uh, all the command lines are executed, and how you know that is, you'll see the screen image come on. As soon as you see the screen image come on, now mine's, uh, you have to put the, uh, see, pi star forward slash admin into your browser. Mine remembers it. I use Firefox. Excellent browser. I recommend everybody use Firefox uh, or Safari if you're using uh, Mac. But anyways, you enter that in and I have mine going automatically to the expert editor. That's just how I do it. But anyways, you click here and then boom, here's the authentication. Now mine's already filled out for me, PyStar password and boom, I'm in. That's how fast you should be able to get into PyStar. Uh, and there's not many reasons you won't get in that quickly. So uh, what uh, I'll do is just show you really quick some of the uh, the setup here in the PyStar. Real simple. Always set up one single mode at a time. I can't stress that too much. One mode at a time. You see here D star is selected. Uh, excuse me, D DMR is selected, or you could select D star, but one or the other, or Fusion, or P25, but never more than one. So we're in DMR mode. Now on this particular device, which is a rugged spot, it uses the OLED. It um, it the setting number two is modem. And number three is a G4KLX. That's the setting. If you're setting this up or resetting it, make sure you hit Apply Changes. PyStar will not change anything ever without applying the changes. You always have to do that following any changes you make in PyStar. So right here is the node is the call sign. Ah, and the cool thing is you'll notice also on this, as you hover over, the uh, the menus here, they'll actually give you information. I don't think many people know this. Uh, and it's such a fantastic uh, little thing they built in the Pi Star. So node call sign. This is your license call sign for this gateway. Blah, blah, blah. A little bit more information there. Anyways, uh, let's not get this boring. But right here, we'll highlight in blue. You put your call sign in. Put your DMR ID in. Put the frequency that matches your radio here. We're not going to touch the latitude or longitude of the town right now. Country USA, that applies to me. I'm in the USA. This will be filled out automatically, the URL. Now, for the jumbo hats, this is the correct modem right here. STM32-DVM, which is digital voice modem, forward slash Multi-mode digital voice modem underscore HS for hotspot hyphen Raspberry Pi hat GPIO. That's general pin in out. That's what they call the pins on the Raspberry Pi. That this right here radio modem type is the correct setting for a jumbo hat. Uh, no type. Leave it on private unless you have more than one. If you have more than one hotspot. You want to select public on that. Uh, system time zone, well, it's a big list here. You can select any time zone you like. Dashboard language, English, and a bazillion other languages here. Any changes you have made, make sure you apply the changes. So this is relevant to the DMR configuration. I don't change anything ever in this box. Not necessary. The DMR gateway works great. Uh, Brandmeister, well, you may have to change Brandmeister servers. Uh, there's Brandmeister 301, 302, 303, and 308. Uh, 303 actually is the one that's closer to me. This is in, the 3101 is actually in New York, but I have this selected. Uh, I'm in California, so technically I should have 3103, but, you know, any of these can work. So, DMR color code is going to be 1 by default. Brandmeister uses time slot 2. People may ask, well, they ask me from time to time, where's the setting? There is no setting. <laughs> it is just time slot 2. That is Pi Star. So don't look for the setting. Just know that it has to be time slot 2 in your radio. 
any changes you have made, not to beat a dead horse and repeat this, but people don't do it, you have to apply the changes. Now, firewall configuration, I don't touch this. I don't, I don't muck around with it. I leave it where it is. Default is private, private, private. Uh, auto AP is on. The U, I don't even know what this is. I don't mess around with it. It's off. I leave it off. Uh, note, reboot required if changed. So apply any changes there. Wi-Fi. Now you'll see my interface is down. Why? I am hardwired in because I'm here at the shack. Uh, shack slash lab. I have no need to use Wi-Fi when I'm sitting here. I have a, a modem I just plug into. Uh, so here you go. If you want to configure your Wi-Fi, that is my Wi-Fi connection, one of them. If I want to add, I can add. I can add more. I can add as many as I want. As far as I know, there is no limit. But you can add a bazillion of these. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it alone because the setting is there just fine. So that's just a quick run through of the Pi Star setup. It is easy, pe easy peasy, simple beans. It's a pretty fundamental uh, program to use. There are many other settings. Uh, you can get into the expert mode, which gets into the deep deep end of this uh, of the pi star most people should never even go into expert unless you know what you're doing don't mess around with that so anyways that's the quickie uh overview of pi star and i simply recommend you stick with the basics and uh, just go with what i showed you here if you're redoing your pi star image it will serve serve you well and you'll have a uh, pi star image that's running on your digital radio in absolutely no time we just went through the dmr mode today uh, and these are all the general as you'll notice I'll highlight, which will be blue on your screen, general configuration. You must always do this regardless of what mode you're going to use in PyStar. And of particular importance is the DMR ID or the CCS7 slash DMR ID. Now, regardless of if you love DMR and only use DMR or you just could care less about it and you're going to use one of the other modes, please understand. Go and get yourself from RadioID.net. You must go and acquire a DMRID because entrance into the gateway of Brandmeister server farms requires two primary things. Requires your call sign. Requires your DMRID. It is your these are your entry keys to get into the Brandmeister system. Once you have the correct entry keys here, regardless of what mode you use or what mode you don't use, uh, you the the program itself, PyCare, PyStar, is always going to use those two particular uh, uh, points. Point one call sign, point two DMR ID to get you into their server farms so you can navigate the world to Brandmeister. That's it. I'm done. Uh, it's really a pretty simple deal. So this is Bobby KM6 IKH doing a little intro to the PyStar dashboard. 73, everybody.